Welcome to today's game, everybody, and today we are doing Battle Cry, the Civil War Tactics board game. The battle for today is New Market. The real battle happened in May of 1864, where the Confederates pushed the Federals out of New Market. Here's the setup. There's a river to the Confederates' right, and there are open fields on the left. The Confederates have a special unit. They are the VMI Cadets. That's cadets that were still at the Virginia Military Institute. Weren't supposed to be ready for the field, but they came out fiercely anyway. That's in the real battle anyway. We'll see how they do in this one. In this game, they can only shoot three spaces, and they begin as a three-stand unit. They also have horse artillery, which can move a little faster, and battle. And the same with some of the Union artillery. The Federals are strong on the left, their right, and it looks like they have a few reinforcements on their far left, our right. The Confederates are set up about the same, but with fewer troops. Not sure how they're going to win this, but let's take a look. The Confederates began with an assault on their right, moving their units up around that river, skirting the trees. The Federals are going to play this defensively as they just set up field works on their right flank. That's again our left. The Confederates reminded them that they're short of supply, and so some of those behind those field works are having to move back to the rear. The Federals used a sharpshooter to try to shoot at Breckenridge, but missed. So far, nobody's really struck, everybody's just been maneuvering. The Confederates have played an assault on the center, giving themselves a general advance. And on the left, they fired and picked off one guy in the works. The Union answered back in the center. Sigel went up to his troops to stand by his men. Sing it all together. Stand by your men. And in the back, they're pushing up a little bit more. Sigel's men fired at the Confederates and got one hit. The Confederates answered back at the same spot. Firing at the earthworks, taking out some of the men, and the Confederate General Imboden leads a daring cavalry charge on their flank, taking out more of them. Sigel is barely holding on with only a few men left, and those men fire back and show why cavalry charges are now a thing of the past. With their fire and some fire from some further back, they have just taken out that cavalry. Imboden is the only general left, limping away. The Confederates probe in the center and do a general assault with all their infantry onto those works. They come up over the earthworks and just massacre what's left of that infantry. And the others, led by Breckenridge, come up over the other side, but they cannot find Sigel to finish him off. The Federals answer back on Breckenridge, taking out a bunch of his men and causing them to retreat. Breckenridge could have had them try to hold that position, but he figured the better part of valor was caution at this point. Meanwhile, Federals are bringing up reinforcements towards the town. That leaves the score presently. The Confederates have won, and the Union has won. It is tied up. And here's the current state of affairs. The Confederates have moved up a general advance, but have slid back and now have more of a diagonal line against the Federal straight line. They've taken out their leftmost earthworks, but have not been able to push forward any further. Will they be able to anymore? We will see. The Confederates are moving up their left, including their VMI cadets. And the Federals are bringing up their cavalry reserves from the left flank. And the Confederates continue to move up their left flank. Both sides seem to be trying to bring in their reserves into this battle. The Federals are now moving their cavalry. They have done a hit and run. They've rushed up and tried to take out Imboden, causing him to retreat. And now they have run into the earthworks. The other cavalry has moved up to support them. The Confederates continue to march up their left with the VMI cadets in the center, which is actually the way it happened historically, and they take out a federal unit right there in the center. That gives them another point. It is now two points to one in the Confederates' favor. Sigel orders the cavalry now to fire at that infantry, but only takes out a little bit of it. The Confederates do a coordinated advance, moving up on the left and starting to damage another earthworks, and in the center they take out the cavalry that ran up to protect Sigel. That now makes the score three to one. The Federals answer back on their right, the Confederate left, knocking back the infantry. The artillery hits the VMI cadets, sending them running in confusion. And more infantry follows up, shooting and taking out more of that infantry. They are not going to let those rebels go. The Confederates answer back by sending their infantry into the woods and shooting on the flank of those earthworks. There is not much left on that side but a lot of dead bodies. The Federals answer back with a counterattack taking out the Confederates on the far left, hiding in the woods, and causing more of a retreat in the center. They are making the Confederates pay for every inch of land. The Confederates come back with Battle Cry, the most powerful card in the game, but it's a little bit wasted because out of six dice, they only get two, but they do not waste it. They move around Sigil and take him out. He is now their prisoner. 
They continue along, firing at the cavalry. The Federals move back on them in the center, causing the cavalry to retreat and hitting the Confederates now in the earthworks. And let's take another look at the overall situation. It's much more thinned out now. But the Confederates have really pushed forward in the center, taking out those earthworks. They've tried to go around the left to maybe get a pincer move, but they've dwindled down over there. The Federals barely holding on with one stand left. However, don't count out the VMI cadets. They are still over here in the woods. They still might be able to move up there, strike the Federals, and create that pincer movement they want. The Federals, though, still have a lot of strength and might be able to come down and do a lot of damage on the Confederates, racking up their badly needed points. The Confederates strike the center and wow, do they do a lot of damage. They almost completely annihilate the men in the town, the few survivors staggering out the other side. And close by, the cavalry pushes forward. Wow, the Confederates are being aggressive on this, causing the Federals to pull back to their commander. The Federals now use a bombard card that they've been saving for a while, completely annihilating a Confederate unit out there in the open and causing the VMI troops to pull back onto a hill, thus denying them their left flank attack. That puts them back up in the game with three points to Confederate four points. The Confederates continue to push in the center shifting the ones that are in the earthworks over towards the left to attack more in the earthworks, almost annihilating another unit. And the cavalry finishes off an infantry unit further towards the back. The Confederates have almost made it into the Federal rear. That's now five points for the Confederates, three points for the Union. The Confederates only need one more point to win this game. The Federals answer back at the earthworks with one kill and a retreat, and the artillery fires and causes the Confederates to retreat again. That's really been the secret of the Confederates here, just knowing when to pull back. And they've really been saved a lot by those retreats rather than getting kills. And the Confederates finish off by killing that commander. They only needed one more point, and what better way to win the game than to capture an enemy commander? That makes it six points to three. The Confederates have won this as they won the real battle, and it was very similar to the way they won the real battle. They pushed hard in the center, came around on the right flank, panicked the Federals, and they pulled back. Although I don't think they took out Sigil. But those are the results here today. Wow, that was a good game. We really hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Be sure to join us next time for more games like this. Subscribe to keep up to date, tell your friends about us, and stay tuned to find out more ways you can support this channel. Happy gaming, everybody! Did you like this video? Then be sure to subscribe to see more and share us with your friends. Also, if you'd like to support us financially or just give us a tip, consider a donation on Patreon. A little donation from each of our viewers helps us expand the videos, keeps the channel going, and helps us make more of them. You also get bonus videos and a big thank you from us.